Wolfgang Job heading for his Paris show at the Palais de Tokyo. He's running a little late, but he doesn't let that bother him. Preparations have been running at full speed for hours now. Models getting their hair styled, trying on their footwear, and practicing their runway walks. Really high heels, but it's so comfortable. It's really comfortable. So we can walk very well, no problems with this. <laughs> A champagne reception to welcome the media. This is Paris after all. The critics are many and very hard to please, but that's exactly what motivates Wolfgang Job. Here in Paris, he wants to tell his story. A vision inspired by childhood memories of a Portuguese garden, presented in cool, austere surroundings. Fashion in hard times was always an adventure and an opportunity to create a different atmosphere. In hard times like these, which are difficult and full of crises and uncertainties, I don't want to bore people with safe fashions. It might take some courage to actually wear these outfits in public, but Wolfgang Job sees fashion more as art than as business. I don't think about who wears it, I don't think about who buys it, I don't think about what it costs. What I think about is, I want to see this image, and before that there's a white canvas and I paint on it. And it's done when it's done. Wolfgang Joop uses his designs to give his feelings expression. That's why the designer doesn't let himself be influenced by trends. In Paris, he's focused on his own show and nothing else. I used to get very excited by it all and look in the internet or wherever, maybe even at other shows, but somehow that doesn't interest me at the moment. I'm concentrating on myself and my projects. It is what it is, and I wouldn't even think about coloring something just because someone else has some other color. And that attitude has earned him the respect of other fashion designers in Paris. He's very talented. I've known him for a long time. I remember when I met him at the Interstoff Fabric Show in Frankfurt. A beautiful man, very elegant. He was already making fashion then. Great stuff. And today I still like his creations very much. He really has a lot of talent. You have to be proud of him. Quite a few of my students um, were, were, were there watching the show and working with him when he set up his Wunderkind. And I always knew him, I used to invite him to our fashion shows, and he's a very social and kind and very nice man, and he's a friend. Bill Kaulitz, the lead singer for the German pop band Tokyo Hotel, has also come to admire Wolfgang Jürg. They've been getting to know each other personally for the first time while working together in Paris on an episode for a French-German TV documentary series. We hit it off immediately. There were none of those, those uncomfortable pauses. We didn't have any of that. So we just had a great time, had dinner together and looked at a few things. The flamboyant pop star has a clear opinion of Wolfgang Jupp's designs. It's good that it's not exactly everyday wear. That's my department. But I totally like it. It's more colorful than what I wear, but I like that. But even if the Tokyo Hotel singer decided to wear something from Wolfgang Jupp's collection, his fans would have to wait a few months to see it. Because this collection was designed for the summer, not the dreary days of late autumn.